I lost my parents at a young age. My mom when I was eight, dad when I was 12. After that, I had some issues with my family. There were some physical altercations and that resulted in me being placed into the foster system. I went into foster care on my own free will at the age of like nine or 10, I would say. Uh, it's been pretty hard because uh, I've been from foster home to foster home, group home to group home. Uh, as soon as I joined, I didn't know what it would be like sleeping in a stranger's home. It was a home, but it wasn't my home. As soon as you age out of foster care or you turn 18, come out of a group home, foster home, uh, you're pretty much on your own and you need that kind of foundation to fall back on. Um, and, and that's what David and Mark pretty much provides. Traditionally, a foster care child will age out of the system at 18. I don't know too many 18-year-olds who can live on their own. We became David and Margaret Youth and Family Services in 2007 to reflect our mission, to empower children, youth, and families through culturally diverse services that foster emotional, educational, spiritual, and identity development. We do have added services on campus. We have our transitional housing, which is um, our THP program. It's extended foster care for clients that are aging out of the foster care system. The main need for the youth here is support and understanding. It doesn't mean financial support, it means emotional support also. So I came to David Margaret when I was 17, just a few months shy of 18. It's kind of deceiving walking in. When you come in the gates and you see, you know, big lush trees, green grass, you're kind of confused. You're like, what is this? And you want to take that as kind of like a bad thing, like, oh, it's so pretty on the outside, it must be so bad on the inside. But it's the exact opposite. Our location is key because we are one of the main providers outside of LA, actually. We are located in Laverne, California, which is an actually really nice neighborhood. Being in a good neighborhood provides them just safety and stability, so that lets them work on other parts of themselves that they're not necessarily able to work on if they're always on guard or have to look over their back. Since we are independent living program, they do live independently on their own off campus in their own apartments. Uh, you go into a two bedroom apartment, um, you were going to share that apartment with another THP resident and uh, you get a kitchen, uh, dishes, basically that whole apartment is for you two uh, to, to clean and maintain. You get priority registration. We provide them life skills. David and Margaret teaches you how to dress, how to speak, and how to present yourself. That way you're not labeled with the title as foster youth. It could be anything from cooking, insurance, getting your license, any, anything important. It's okay for them to make, make mistakes while in this program, but we're there as their support to help them learn from those mistakes. Each client has a different history. When we're dealing with our clients here, we have to look at it from a different lens. I can work within my abilities to get what I want. I'm able to stand up and say, hold on, I think this is best for me, and they listened. For someone that's applying to the THP program, ask questions, I would say. Come into the program asking questions. Twice a month, and also attend workforce training if unemployed. Foster care is pretty difficult. Um, so I believe everything we've endured should allow us a chance to make up, you know, for everything we lost and to create our own future. Maybe the foster system is not as broken as some people say. David and Margaret renewed the hope that people care. People will be there for you and people will listen and people will help you even in the foster system. Mm -hmm.